वेलकम बैक गाइस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग द डिस्कशन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन ब्रोशर सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द वीडियो सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द ब्रोशर इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वाच्ड दैट वीडियो सो प्लीज वाच दैट एंड देन यू कैन वाच दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द अदर पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रोशर so the next part is of online admission procedure so it says that for admission into iist you need to fill a separate form and you can fill this form through iist website and the links are given in the pdf only so after your je advance when you will visit this links you can find the instructions to fill this form and all the things related to it so the next thing is the photograph which you will be uploading in the iist form it should be the same photograph which you have uploaded in the je advance form and then it says about the fee payment for the form and it can be only done through online mode next is registration fee for different category and gender students so you can refer this table by yourself so the next part discusses about the iist rank list so you are eligible for iist rank list only when you have successfully filled the online form and have paid the registration fees so this is the first point and the second point is that this rank list is prepared from the j advance marks and you must have secured the minimum marks prescribed for the individual subjects which i have already discussed in my previous brochure video so you can refer it so in case if two students have scored the same marks in the advance so deciding the rank between them i just will consider these three points so the first point is higher rank will be given to that candidate who have secured higher marks in the math subject and if both the candidates have same marks in the math subject then they will consider the physics marks and then also if their marks are same then they will consider je main rank so that's all about the iisc rank list so the next part discusses about opening and closing marks for 2018 2019 and 2020 so i have already made a video on iisc cutoffs so i will be putting that videos link in the description so you can watch it So the next part is about filling in branch preferences. So it says about that while registration you need to fill the branch preference order between aerospace, avionics and dual degree. Let's take an example that you want to take admission in aerospace branch in IIST. So if you are only interested in aerospace branch then you only have to put aerospace branch in your first priority and rest options you can keep blank. And if you just want to get into IIST in any branch, then you can put all the three branches depending on your priority. And other points in this branch filling are that after a particular date, you are not allowed to change this branch preference orders. So you need to put this carefully. And also, you are advised to select the branch based on your interest only, because later you need to study this branch. And if you are not interested, then it's going to be a very difficult time for you. So the next part is about seat allotment and acceptance rounds. so it says if you are allotted a seat and you want to confirm it then you can choose the freeze option and proceed with the seat acceptance fee and if you choose the freeze option then you will get that particular seat in the particular branch and after that you will not be considered in the upcoming rounds and for the candidates who wish to be considered for higher preferences so they can select the slide option so basically in simple words this means let's say your priority is aerospace then avionics and then dual degree in a particular round you got the seat in dual degree but you want to participate in the other rounds just in case you get the seat in avionics or aerospace so you can put the slide option then you will be considered for the upcoming rounds and if you are lucky then you will get your higher preferences branch so for both the students who choose the freeze or slide option they need to pay 20700 rupees to ist to confirm that particular seat so this is a part of your fee from the first semester fee and the rest amount you need to pay at the time of your arrival at iist and after paying that fee you need to upload these documents to the iist website and this includes class 10 certificate or birth certificate class 12th or equivalent exam mark sheets class 12 certificates category certificate if you belong to this category also your transfer certificate and candidate's aadhar card so these are the documents you need to upload at iist website and after successfully uploading then you will get a provisional admit card for the iist by admit card this means your admission card for iist you need to show this card at the time of joining in the iist and for the other students who didn't got seat in a particular round so they will be in the wait list and 
for continuing in the admission process they need to revalidate on a particular dates which will be specified on the website and candidates who do not revalidate they will be out of the admission process and the next point is about seat allocation shift from category to general so this is not important point for you so you can ignore this and the next one discuss about the withdrawal of seats so if you are allotted a seat and you don't want to take admission in isg then you can select the withdrawal option in the isg portal so you will get refund based on this policy so you can refer this so if you are interested in isg then do subscribe this channel i will be uploading many more videos in the future so that's all bye